Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of It's All Relative. Today we are going a little bit, I was going to say south, what did I want to say south? We're going a little bit west of Singapore this time. So currently we're in Tuas Link and Tuas Link is the very west side of Singapore. Home to one thing only that I'm very aware of, a lighthouse. So we're going to head off to the lighthouse, check it out for a while and there's some Pokemon news going on regarding Halloween. Alright, before we talk about Halloween news, we got some eggs to hatch. Oh, egg, sorry, singular, not plural. Egg, here we go. Meow. Currently, we're in Tuas Link, and this place is like a depot for the buses and the train, the MRT in this case. And I've never been near a depot before, MRT before, so kind of, that's kind of cool to see where the train comes from. Where we are going towards like the lighthouse that you can see at the edge of the water area. We're gonna try and find out if they have a lot of cluster spawns there. I think that would be kind of cool, Pokemon spawn near lighthouses. As we're approaching the, what do you call it, the pier area, uh, I think there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's like boats, there's, I'm pretty sure people are doing like kayaking here. I think kayaking? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Anyway, there's actually a raid here for Darkrai. So Darkrai is actually back in Pokemon Go. If you guys don't have a shiny Darkrai, you should go get it. I don't have one, so I should get it. But unfortunately, there's nobody in this raid right now. Uh, since we're like at the edge of the world or something like that. Uh, if there is people, I will let you know. But in the meantime, we're just going to be here chilling out, try to find out exactly what kind of Pokemon you can get here and what kind of Halloween Pokemon we're going to talk about. sure if the wind is actually being picked up by a microphone. If it is, I am truly sorry because it can be very annoying. Don't do that, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just kind of walking towards the um, <clears throat> lighthouse right now. It's just a little path and we're just, you know, just following the path. On the game, you can see the path right now. Uh, yeah, it's actually quite nice. It's quite... The sun is not too hot today, so I'm still bearable. The sky is beautiful, so it's a great time to be here. And I was just hoping there's going to be spawns around his lane here, but we're not seeing any spawns, so that's okay. Anyway, so Halloween event this week until November 4th, I think. Uh, there will be some kind of special uh, Gengar. It's wearing costumes and stuff, and it can be shiny. That's the, let's just say this Halloween, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I plan to play it maybe at night, so that there's a little bit more of the Halloween feel. And I'm guessing that I want to switch my timing of playing Pokemon Go to evening, because I think that's kind of... It's more of an appropriate time, especially for this Halloween event, you know? Why do you need a bicycle on a boat? Maybe it's like Gaia, you know? One of those moving cities that has plants on it. I don't know, I'm just bullshitting. Alrighty guys, so currently we are at the edge of this pier and we are right in front of this lighthouse and there's actually quite a few boats and stuff like that just moving around. You want to say hi to these people? They're just chilling and moving around. <laughs> anyway, so we actually have a couple of spawns here. It's not a lot. It's not like the, the, you know, the one that you guys see at piers and stuff like that. But no, we have like maybe two or three spawns here. Oh, actually no, there's more. Ooh. Uh, uh, guys, if my eyes are smaller than usual, it's because the light is really, really bright and I cannot open my eyes because I'm Asian. Gengar can be a mega Pokemon right now. So if you collect enough Gengar uh, Mega Energy, which I think we can get from this Mega Gengar, like special research, time research in this case. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get Gengar Mega Energy and then we're gonna do some shiny Mega Evolution for Gengar by this episode. So it won't be now because number one, I still gotta transfer 13 Pokemon, catch 13 Pokemon, uh, Ghost Pokemon, catch 13 Dark type Pokemon, then we'll do some evolution, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna get out of here soon because it's really hot, but the lighthouse is nice. We have a raid right now, a Darkrai raid. Yes, okay, Darkrai is down. Alright, let's do this. Let's see if we can get that shiny purple Darkrai. Okay, thanks Boyan again. Thanks again. Alright, let's do this. Shiny time, baby. 
Shiny time. Goodbye. Happy face. Yeah. I'm doing all my catches with one hand because I'm that good. I'm not that good anymore. So let's talk about the Halloween event that's happening for this weekend. Um, right now I'm kind of in the shade, I guess. There's a bit of sun, but that's okay. We're going to talk about it anyway. In about four minutes, we're going to be looking for that Gengar raid because so right now Gengar is kind of dressed up in a Halloween costume. And so is a lot of other Pokemon like Sable Eye is one of them. It can be shiny as well. Uh, Sable Eye looks like this. And anyway, there's a lot of Drifloon sp uh, spawning around and I was able to find a shiny Drifloon. So yeah, we got, off, uh, sh we got a shiny off the bat right now. Uh, that's kind of cool. Here's what's going to happen, alright? We actually have a lot of research tasks that we need to talk about. Like today, we actually have a ghost, um, catch mystery ghost, which is a lot of Drifloon from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mega Gengar research task as well. So this one, yeah, we're going to be doing this so that we can get all the mega, mega energy for Gengar as well. And also not to mention, there's also a special research as well. This one is, you know, as long as you need, it's not time research. But this one, you need to catch 108 Pokemon. Yeah, a lot of quests that we need to catch a lot of Pokemon. But basically, this one is going to give us Spirit Tomb. And I think the Alola, uh, sorry, the Gala form of uh, Yeah Mask. So Yeah Mask, this is our normal form, right? So we're looking for the Gala form one. This one is going to get us Drifloon first. Yeah, we didn't get a shiny from that one. There's 20 quests of Drifloon, by the way. So you claim this one, we can get another Drifloon from this. I think this is the 10th one for me, if I'm not mistaken. So we have 10 more quests to go for Drifloon and hopefully we can get a shiny. Come on, give me Gengar. Give me Gengar. Oh, it's an Absol. Uh, there's actually a Pokemon that we need to evolve. Uh, two Pokemon, in fact. One is a Galarian uh, Farfetch, one is a Galarian Ponyta. So this guy is beautiful. I think I might not evolve him just yet because I'm not sure if I have two or one of them. I think I only have one. Apparently, you need to put this guy as your buddy and then you need to do 10 excellent throw. Five or 10, I can't remember, but Farfetch, I choose you. All right, we have a lot of quests to go through. This one's going to give us a lot of Drifloon, like I said. <laughs> Oh, Spirit Tomb is another Pokemon I did not mention just now. It can be a shiny as well, Spirit Tomb. That's one of the Pokemon you can get from the research uh, re uh, quest as well. Okay, Mega Gengar. We have three different <laughs> quests to do. Second quest, let's see. Ah, uh, Haunter. I'm guessing it's a Gengar? Ah, oh, yes! So this is the Gengar we're talking about. Sadly, it's not a shiny, but we want to find this Gengar and we want that shinyable Gengar in the costume. <laughs> Look at that. I love the outfit. It's so cool. Wow, 15 attack. Awesome. All right, let's see. Is it a spirit tomb? I think it's a spirit tomb for this one. Let's, okay, let's check it out. Come on, spirit tomb, spirit. Oh, man. 868. So far, we still don't have any good luck in finding the shiny for these kind of exclusive Pokemon, but we will keep looking because we have until the end of the day. Another catch 49 Pokemon. That's a lot of Pokemon to catch. There's a Mega Egg that's going to spawn in about one minute. Hopefully, it's a Mega Gengar, then we can, you know, do a mega raid. But it was a mega Gengar in the end. Look at that. That is beautiful. Mega Gengar is definitely one of my favorite mega Pokemon. Like, come on, man. You gotta love it. It's so beautiful. Oh, the mega Pokemon doesn't actually have the outfit. That's so sad. But that's okay. Let's see if we can get that shiny. No. Damn it. All right, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Holy shit. Uh, boys and girls, I did not know that we just found a 100% IV Gengar with an outfit. Like, that was from the raid. 1644. I didn't know. We just found it. What just happened? Oh my god, if this was a shiny, that would be so cool, but it's not! Oh my god, but we, we got... Okay, I guess we're gonna mega evolve this guy. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> Guys, we managed to find a shiny this time. It's coming from a research task and it's from the Catch Mastery Ghost, which is the Drifloon one, like I mentioned just now. Yeah, we got a shiny Drifloon from the quest. From the quest. 494. 
I don't think 494 is the max CP, so so I'm guessing I'm gonna evolve this guy so that we can get at least one sh shiny Drift Loon, one shiny Drift Blim. Let's look at this shiny first, okay? Drift Blim, shiny Drift Blim. Ha, <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, I managed to find one of the quests. Oh, what, what the hell? Is this a 98? Oh my god, that's a 98. See, so I got a 18 ghost type Pokemon quest. That one is going to give us Spirit Tomb. So, yeah. Hopefully we can, we just need to catch 10 more ghost type and it should be no problem at all. This episode actually have a lot of content. Like, it was, it's a lot of stuff to talk about. I think this episode is going to go more than like 12 minutes. I'll try to cut it down as much as I can. Alright. Your mask! Ah yes, this is the glaring your mask guys. Oh wow, I need to finish the challenge to evolve this guy. I guess I'll do this one for the next episode but I can't evolve it right now. That's so sad. Yeah. Gengar. I really like the nail on his head. It's so cool. Okay, so this is gonna be a normal Gengar raid. It's not a mega Gengar raid. Uh, so this is definitely gonna go down so much easier than before. And just like that, Gengar is down. That's what we we're looking for. Okay, shiny. No, right. Yeah, it's not. 1988. I can't believe I got 100% a Hundo Gengar, man. Mega Gengar evolution time. Let's find that Hundo. Oh my god, I still can't believe we have a Hundo Gengar in the Halloween costume. Obviously, you will want this guy to be a shiny so that it will be a white color shiny Mega uh, Gengar. But I think we'll do shiny Mega evolution another day. But gotta do it for the Hundo first, you know. Like, oh my god, that is so beautiful. Damn, Farfetch to Sir Farfetch. Damn man, look at that bird. Look at that Surfetch. Oh, it's called Surfetch, not Surfetch. <laughs> Pokedex entry, Surfetch. Sorry, my brain's not working tonight. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, that is kind of cool. We have a 12 pin egg hatching right now. Just one egg, unfortunately. All right, let's see what we can get. Yes, a sandal. Yes, Pokedex entry sandal, guys. Oh, this is dope, man. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't think that we'd be getting this guy, but we did. We finally did. we can get that shiny end. It's so nice to actually vlog at night uh, because the lighting is so nice and also it's not hot at all. <laughs> shiny Darkrai. Still don't have it yet. Okay, spirit tomb check. Let's see if we can get that shiny spirit tomb. <laughs> yeah. I just got home. Yeah, so I forgot to recap what happened at the end of the episode but basically I found two more shiny so that makes it four and yeah I would say it's a successful day so given that I have a Hundo Gengar that is in the costume four shinies hatch a sand dial so yeah let me know how was your day and I'll catch you guys in the next episode take care guys bye